Hi, I'm Tom Field, Vice President of Editorial with Information Security Media Group. I'm talking about behavioral analytics. My pleasure to be speaking with Sam Curry, the Chief Product Officer with Cyber Reason. Sam, pleasure to see you. It's good to be here. So, since the last time we've spoken, you've joined Cyber Reason. I have, yeah, it's been five months now. Tell me about your, your role and the challenges of it. Well, um, we're a company that's grown extremely quickly. Um, frankly, I think uh, the industry has let down most practitioners. Uh, bad guys seem to have all the asymmetry or advantages in attack. Uh, what attracted me to Cyber Reason was great people and great tech, but also a real passion to reverse that. Uh, we want to have all the asymmetry and defense, if you will. So uh, I made it official and became Chief Product Officer in September. That's great. Now, we talked a little bit beforehand, and you were talking about the point isn't to stop malware. The point is to stop the bad guy. Go on that thought for Yeah, so, I mean, it seems like uh, for the longest time we've been using antivirus products, but also things like IDS and other tools that are really block known bad. Mm -hmm on a hunt to stop malware, when really malware is just one tool of many mm -hmm. used by the adversaries in, in getting into networks. And there's this notion of infrastructure breach that doesn't have to lead to information breach. There's a, a sequence of steps that bad guys take, and malware is actually probably the exception of the tools that they use. Uh, obviously things like lateral movement and privilege escalation, but fileless malware and exploits and using legitimate in situ you know, applications, things that are signed, mm -hmm. but are being used for the wrong purposes. And, and frankly, our job isn't to catch malware, it's to catch the people that, that use malware as one of their tools. So you've got to start lifting yourself up out of the machine and looking across machines and looking across the environment, the human behavior. So take a step back as a security professional, been in the business for a long time. 26 years now, it's a little, that's, little silly. That's yeah. the entire RSA conference. Actually, I've been lifetime. to all but two at this point, yeah. What are the threats that concern you the most now? Um, well, I'm seeing two behaviors in particular from bad guys. One is this, uh, they, they seem to be trying to infiltrate our information sharing and our threat intel communities with uh, false data. Not just to raise false positives, but also to throw off machine learning. Um, and frankly, they can get all of our tools in the labs. I mean, anything that we have as defenders um, and practitioners of security, they can put in their QA labs. Mm -hmm. So they'll, they'll follow the paths where we're not looking. They'll go to the firmware, they'll go down the stack, they'll use the applications that we think are legit, they know about whitelisting and blacklisting, they sure. create blind spots. And so um, the techniques that they use, there's always a pathway, and the seams between our products are the things they're going to find. And really, that's what leads us back to behavior, because frankly, if we can instrument behavior, we can see the sequences that separate an admin from a pen tester from a hacker. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a whole different discipline from anything we've seen today. Well, then talk to me about behavioral analytics. How has that come of age, and what are you deploying at Cyber Reason? Well, I think, um, I think if we boil it down to it, there's a few objects we care about as business people, right? There's users that use machines on networks to access applications and data. Um, those are five objects that matter from good behavior perspective. The bad guys, regardless of our infrastructure, whether it's a perimeter or not, or cloud or not, or smartphones or whatever, IoT, they're likewise trying to insinuate themselves among those five objects. So I, I care deeply about the behavior of endpoints, machines, um, endpoints and machines, users, networks, apps, and data. And so uh, at Cyber Reason, we are in fact instrumenting probably the most prevalent place, the islands that the actual actions happen, the computing points, uh, with endpoint behavioral analytics. But on the back end, we build a graph that is mineable and usable to, el to elicit or pull out what the bad behaviors are from the good. Mm -hmm. Now we can add in other forms of data, user data, uh, and user behavior in particular, network behavior, and app and data. If we can get that in there, then we can actually we can find the best and most permanent form of data to actually stop bad guys. So you certainly have got mature solutions. My question is, how mature does the customer have to be in their security technology to be able to maximize your solutions? Well, actually, um, I think there has to be some degree of security sensitivity uh, or consciousness. Uh, if a customer is simply compliance-centric, they probably, for other reasons, are going to mm -hmm. have to up-level their game a bit fairly soon. It's not even a function of size of company. I, I, right. I, I think of a, 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 you know, a practitioner pyramid that's not, as vendors do, size of company, rather in terms of how sophisticated their approach to security is. The world demands a deeper understanding of security, but not hugely deeper. Mm -hmm. The tools that we produce create an abstraction, but they should also make it understandable what's happening under the hood and that should actually save cycles. So if you make a minimum investment of a few people in IR, we can make those people highly effective. So from any shop that does more than just, do I have AV check, do I have firewall check, do I have IDS, beyond that, all the way up to the most sophisticated organizations, this technology has immediate benefits. As a technologist, as a practitioner, what does behavioral analytics do for you now 
that you wished you'd had years ago? Oh my. Um, <clears throat> behavioral analytics uh, actually lets me understand um, ultimately um, what pathways through the company exist. Uh, it has the promise of being able to help demonstrate the relevance of, of security to IT and to the business. But most importantly, it lets you find the threads of the people that are going through networks and through systems. Um, the pathways they leave are always adaptive. And, and the thing that behavioral analytics does is every other form of data, every other form of control has a shelf life. Um, how long is it effective? And you look at you know, things like hash, you know, blocking by file hashes, that drops off a cliff. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, useless for very, it's useful for a very short period of time and then it's useless. Um, this has some longevity. And ultimately, you can't hide behavior. It, it will turn up. So, you know, our habit as an industry and as practitioners is let's look at the machine, let's use a sliver of that machine to stop malware. Yeah. Instead, let's lift our eyes up and say, cross machine, cross network, cross users. Mm -hmm. What behaviors do we see that then make it trivial to come back to the endpoint and say, now stop the bad guys. We, we in fact, just announced at the show the addition of antivirus and next-gen antivirus technologies, not because those things just need to be there as check marks, but because this view, this higher level view across an enterprise, actually makes us able to put the next gen into the endpoint finally and change that game. It's not one-to-end -end presence testing, it's behavioral testing and applied at the endpoint. Well, that's a fair question then. What can customers expect from Cyber Reason over the next 12 months? Uh, so we, uh, we've we added, uh, we announced here at the show, antivirus and some next gen technologies. Uh, we also have threat intelligence uh, offerings. Uh, we really do understand how the bad guys behave. Our DNA yep. is to understand offensive operations, and therefore we know exactly how to track them and how to deploy solutions against it, uh, but also service offerings. So we have um, uh, activity monitoring, folks who can do the L1, L2 job, and then advanced analytics, the L3 job, and even hunting services. So we can actually go proactively and root out the guys that have been there and are hiding in the systems quite effectively cleaning up the traces. What makes this fun for you now, Sam? It's a blast. I get to actually turn the tables on the bad guys, right? Uh, um, you know, I joke with people that I'm partly responsible for the status quo right now through the sim wars and antivirus wars and what have you. But uh, at the end of the day, I have to look my friends who are my customers in the eye and say I'm going to make life better. Mm -hmm. And I can actually do that now. Um, and I've always been trying to, but I really feel Cyber Reason has a chance to do that. Sam, thanks so much. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. And talking about behavioral analytics, I've been speaking with Sam Curry. He's the Chief Product Officer with Cyber Reason. For Information Security Media Group, I'm Tom Field. Thank you very much.